Years of bee studies have shown consistent population declines due to the effects of climate change, pesticides, and other human activities. But according to new research from Simon Fraser University, there might be a thread of good news. Some bee species in North America and Europe might not be dying out at all, and certain Canadian bee populations might actually be thriving. Now, this research used a simulated data model to find out how often bumblebees showed up in sites throughout the two continents from 2000 to 2015. There's 46 bumblebee species in North America. We modeled uh, 37 species. So instead of estimating bumblebee population numbers directly, the team looked instead at the spatial distribution of bees throughout the two continents. So we're talking the number of places that you can find a bee species and how that number has changed through time. So not necessarily the actual number of bees, but through that method, they found that while there was an approximately 5% overall reduction in the North American bee population, during that time, some bee species stayed stable and some even increased. So that's not to say it's all positive or that all other studies are contradicted. The paper found that the cuckoo gypsy bumblebee, for example, which is listed on the critically endangered list, had its population decline by 73%. But other species, like the common eastern bumblebee and the two-spotted bumblebee, saw increases during that same time. Other scientists working in the field caution that the modeling approach might not reflect the real world and that policy shouldn't be based on modeling alone and further observations of these vital pollinators are needed. Because the data is so hard to analyze, like something that we, we can say we can talk about is like the places where we find the bees, but we're not talking about abundance. And so it very may well be that abundance has to climb. But with this type of data, we can't answer that question. But that in itself is worthy of note. We can focus our attention to figuring out, well, why are those two species or three species decreasing? Um, and can we target the sources of the declines? If we can target our research and our policy spatially, that helps us to understand the complicated factors that contribute to a bee's success in a certain place. And I think we all just want the bees to be successful. And now you're science smart. If you have a science question on your mind, send me a tweet. I'll try to get it answered.